Making an image have a transparent background is very important so that you can move this image or these image to different documents. Maybe you can move this to your business card or on a brochure and it will keep the background of whatever you're, uh, you're moving it to. So let's look at an example of that. We have an image here, an image here, and this image. Let's see what happens when we change it to a different color background. So we can see that this image up here takes the color of the background and these images, this one here and this one here, don't. They're still white. So it looks fine when it's white, the background's white, but it doesn't look fine when we change it. So we can't just change the color of our website and have everything be fine because of these images that we previously made and we didn't make them transparent. So let's see how to make the images transparent. Let's open up Photoshop. And once that's open, let's open up a file where there is a background image. There's a background uh, image where it's not transparent. So what we do is we double click here and we press OK. This is just allowing us to unlock the layer. See that lock? And let's put another layer by going down here, creating a new layer, and drag it below this one. And let's make it all black so that we can see the difference. Now that this background is black, we can see that this layer here isn't transparent. There's a white background. We can get rid of this by selecting the magic wand tool and setting the tolerance to 10. Clicking on this, so this allows it to be uh, continuous. So if we uncheck this, we can see that it'll select things that are inside of it. But if you don't need that, we can just select this. The tolerance is how, how many colors are selected that are nearby it. So if we put it at 60, it'll select more colors on the inside. It'll say, select this white, but also select this white. So let's set it to something pretty low, like 10. And let's delete it. So now that we delete it, we can see that this black background is showing. We can select a different color and make it purple and see that there's a purple background now. So through this, it's showing this layer right here. But we don't want any background. We want it to be transparent. So let's drag this one to the trash can. And when you get this checkered background, you know it's transparent. That's not going to show up in your image. So let's save this file, and you have to save it in a particular way. You save it for web and devices. And you save it as not a JPEG, because this doesn't have a transparency background. As you can see, it's a white background. We save it as a PNG, and we make sure transparency is checked. Because if it's not, then it's not going to be a transparent background. So let's check off transparency and click Save. Once it's saved, let's go and see if it works. Let's add a new page. We'll call it Flower and we'll insert the image. It looks fine so far on a white background, but let's see if it looks okay on a background that changes color. And let's change the background color and see 
if it does it. And there we go. So no matter where you put this flower or your graphic, it's always going to take the background of the document or the business card or whatever you put it on.